welcome back to Nights and Ghost Beaters. If you're new to the channel, I am Old Red Gaming, and on Tuesday we were supposed to get the mid season patch, which obviously did not occur as they had to push it back. And it was an unknown amount of time. Until today, they did indeed confirm it will be dropping at 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific. So, in a matter of a few minutes, the mid season, I guess we're going to call it the mid season. We have 19 days left of the season, but whatever, you know, it's, it's Blizzard. But it's gonna be in it well the first thing is you're gonna be able to get your hands on this brand new character meg she's gonna be an ice wielding dps i believe yeah, obviously you no know, she's coming back she's finally free uh if you didn't know pretty much your entire store has been absolutely overwhelmed with her including a brand new skin that's included in her weekly and basically literally every one of my uh, <laughs> options in my for you have also been may including the invisible one uh which is also may so yesterday my skins were three mays and the art deco for symmetra you want may skins i guess it's the time to buy them but the question is what was really going to happen with all character balances and the first thing we're going to see is all the nerfs now here's what we got from overwatch calvary he posted this i'm going to give him credit for him because he's awesome and as you can see sombra is going to have her hack ability lockout duration reduced from 1.75 to one and a half seconds hacked enemies are no longer valid targets for hacking and hack damage multiplier reduced from 40 to 25 percent so sombra is taking a major hit genji maximum ammo reduced from 30 to 24 and shrinking damage is reduced from 27 so it's unhit but it's not immeasurable zarya barrier duration reduced from two and a half to two seconds barrier cooldown increased from 10 to 11 seconds so it's going to make her a little less annoying but it'll still be a pain in the ass and finally diva fusion cannon spread increased from three and a half to 3.75 boosters impact reduced from 25 to 15 so a huge drop to her boosting to her dive so it will adjust multiple things in her kit because of that and then there's a tiny slap on the wrist of Kiriko. her swift step and vulnerability duration has been reduced from 0.4 to 25 seconds and finally of course the most broken character sojourn is getting wait seriously they did nothing to sojourn oh that's right blizzard said silver and bronze players don't know how to use her so we don't need to fix her broken app obviously that's so anything that you were going to be receiving for overwatch league like coins skins even the twitch drops that have been up for a couple of days now should all populate into your account the rumor is the xbox missing carbon fiber bundle that if you were able to get a hands on one of those codes should also drop in today we'll see if that uh, i've had a lot of people asking me when it's supposed to be available and hopefully from everything i was heard the uh, the mid-season patch is supposed to fix it also we should receive a brand new set of overwatch league skins as well as the rummer is they are opening the vault for some older overwatch league skins from season one through four and who knows i don't think there's anything else li lurking in there but the question is what got broken in the process and hopefully it's not too bad because the fact that they had to like give it an extra 48 hours before they could actually launch the patch and everything should be hopefully working and we'll see what actually happens as always tell me what you think of this patch coming up are you excited for the mid-season are you mad that your character got nerfed or are you just pissed that sojourn did not somehow magically avoid any kind of fix whatsoever <sighs> i was hoping that that was going to be the big surprise but let me know in the comments below as always thanks for watching and later mates